to the pond. I am gonna show you the craziness that is outside right now. Insane. This is outside my mom's house right now. The street is literally a river. like where the sidewalk is oh my god like it is so dark in the house right now that was the front entrance that we never use we always use the side entrance but i was supposed to go to my classroom and set it up today because i start work tomorrow it's monday but decided to spend the last day with my mom kind of glad because it's awful out there i suck because I literally showed you that little clip of the rain and I never got back on. But shortly after I left my mom's, I basically waited for the rain to stop. Um, they kept warning us about the, that storm. But they said that it was going to come and move very quickly. So it literally only lasts about 30, 40 minutes. Thank God. Because if it continued to rain like that for hours and hours, I don't know what was going to happen. You guys saw how quickly my mom's street got flooded insane and my mom she doesn't usually deal with that much flooding do we have certain areas here where you know it's um i don't know what i'm looking for there's not as good drainage or like it's the way the street is set up where we'll, we'll get like a pool of water and that is not my mom's like my mom's never had like flooded basement issues or anything like that it was just a very freak weird storm but once it like passed i packed up my stuff and i headed to the classroom to set up um so I was heading there. It's, I, some people do the opposite. Like some people want to go there, get stuff done and leave. And I'm just noticing lately that my brain is very different and that's okay. Uh, but I wanted to spend time with my family while I could. Uh, my brother went to my mom's, but by four o'clock he was leaving right around when the storm ended. So I was like, well, this is when I'll leave and I'll go to the school now. So I messaged one of the parents who was there and I said, hey, you think it would be weird if I go now? Because that's the thing. I worry that people are going to be like, she's coming now. Like, because most people do stuff is like during the day. But I had the evening free. So it's like, why not? Instead of me sitting at home. And he was like, no, there's some teachers here. He's like, I mean, I'm sure they're going to be leaving in an hour or two. But he's like, just come on over. Who cares? I'll help you. So I was like, oh, thanks. I appreciate it. So I went there and he actually helped me. And we actually stayed in my room till eight o'clock. So I was there for about four hours, but I got a lot done. The classroom is basically set up. So we're going tomorrow. Tomorrow is our first day back, but that's without kids. Tomorrow's a PD day, so we're just going to get trainings. And I think they're going to give us two hours to, like, set up the rooms and stuff like that. I mean, my room is basically set up, but today was, like, unpaid. You know, tomorrow's, like, the paid time to do it. But now that the room is set up, which is nice, I can start prepping lessons for next week and get ahead. So I will pop on to, I'm literally going to shower and get ready for bed. It's 11 o'clock already. Literally got home. Joe picked up KFC for us. We ate, hung out a little bit, watched some YouTube. Um, but I'm going to shower and go to bed. But I'll pop on tomorrow once I get to school. And I will show you guys the classroom. There is no kids tomorrow. The kids start on Wednesday. So I can show you guys. It's honestly set up the same way. I didn't do anything really different. I am debating on grouping the desks. But I'll show you the classroom and um, anything else I can tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure what we're doing. I'm not sure what trainings we're getting. Obviously, you guys know I don't film that much at work. But uh, I will pop on and check in with you guys here and there. But yep, first week back at work. Alrighty, guys. It is Tuesday. All our trainings were in the morning. It was three back-to-back, -back, each one hour. And then we the first hour was with our new principal. We have a new principal at my school. There's a new superintendent. There's a lot of changes. And then even my specific boss, the one that evaluates me for special ed, is a new person. Well, not new to me. She was a teacher here, but she got promoted. So it's a new position for her. The day went by fast. It is now 1.15. So this is our classroom setup time. Well, lunch and classroom setup time until 2.15. And then it's our first department meeting of the year. So I'm going to meet specifically with special ed because that's my department. And the day is over. So I am having my lunch quickly. My room is basically set up. I'll, as soon as I'm done eating my lunch, I will show you guys. I am going to organize. I have a stack of binders behind me. And that is my plan for 45 minutes. Because um, it's going to take me, you know, 10 to 15 minutes to eat this. But let me flip the camera, show you my lunch. I have made this before. I absolutely love this. this is, it's already happy. And this one this is a full one. And basically, this is a boob love, which is 
Portuguese. And it's, I say all the time, it's basically the Portuguese version of an English muffin. But I like it even better. There's a little sweetness to it. Um, it's so good. And I love making it as a bread for sandwiches. So I'm just literally having ham and cheese and I put butter on each side. So good. And it feels so good. Let me hope pick this up because I had you guys propped against it. Using my Boo Blue Stanley again. I haven't used a Stanley in a while because it's here. I have like, I think four Stanleys all together and I keep two here and two at home. <sighs> but yes, that is what I'm up to right now. I will show you guys my room when I'm done eating lunch. Forgot to mention after that meeting, the last training, they gave us a school shirt. They usually always do that. So I have last year's shirt and I have this year's shirt. And it just has like the school name, but it's a different design every year. So it's nice I have another shirt to add to my collection. We have a school store here, so I could buy more shirts. Like I would like to have more school shirts, but they don't sell my size in store. They would have to special order it and then it's like an extra cost. So, but when it's the ones they give away, they always include up to four X, which is great. I got a four X back here. This guy got kind of nervous because I go look in the, I looked in the room where they gave us the shirts and the snacks which is what i'm gonna eat right now um it said there was like a section for small medium large and then all the and it went up to xxl and that was it so um one of the associate principals walked by and i said is xxl really the biggest size and she's like it shouldn't be she's like i'm the one that made the order last year and i always go up to 4x i didn't make it this year but i told him to order the same amount so she's like, let me go in and check for you. Because I was just going to be like, you know, a little embarrassed. They don't have my size. And uh, she went in. She goes, nope, there is a box. It's not labeled. But they have a 3X three, three box and a 4X box. And I went, okay, perfect. And she actually grabbed me the 4X right away. So I have another shirt to add to my collection. The little baggie has rainbow Twizzlers. Some little Hershey bars. And there's a white cheddar and a Dorito. Go for a little sweet treat right now. The rest I'll save for another day. And then we're going to get to organizing some um, classroom materials. And I'll show you guys a quick tour. Alrighty, guys. I suck. Because I'm back home. And I forgot to show you the classroom. But I'll be back there tomorrow. So I'll show you guys tomorrow. Uh, I am home. I am working on a little project. I think me and Joe are going to go back out tonight. I don't normally do that on work days. But like I said, it's a very easy week. Today I didn't have kids. And even like tomorrow and thursday it's gonna be more get to know me activities they even said that like the first three days should be building relationships with your students getting to know your students telling them your expectations classroom rules so it won't be a hard day i want to start the year off right i did this last year i don't was i doing vlogs last year no because i just started vlogs around vlogmas so it's about to hit a year um december but um i like to give a first day of school gift i don't last year i didn't actually give it to the students um, I, it was more to the staff. It was um, other teachers I worked with a lot and Paris. But this year, because it's something very, very cheap. Last year, I bought hair clips in bulk. Um, and I did clip, clip, hooray, happy first day. Um, this year, I want to include the students as well. So I bought packages of Chips Ahoy. I bought two 20-pack bo um, boxes. And it says, chip, chip, hooray, happy first day. And then I got, in case, you know, not everybody likes something sweet or chocolate chip cookies, I got a 30-pack of mixed goldfish. So one is colors, one is cheddar, and one is pretzel. And then I got another free printable. I got these from a page on Instagram that I really enjoy. So um, I can link um, the Instagram person down below. It's um, Ashley M something. Um, she's trying to hit 10K. She's close. I, last time I looked, I think she was at 9,000 something. Um, and she does add a lot of value um, because, like I said, this was a free printable. If not, I would have had to create this and it would took me way longer. She did, created both of them. And this one says, officially back to school. And it has a little goldfish. So I'm writing my name in the part where it says love. I'm putting love miss with my last name. And then I got cute ribbon right here. I'll show you from Amazon. I got a five pack. I'm not going to lie. I really only like these two, but I'm not sure how much ribbon it's going to take. So I might end up using all five. We'll see. Um, but honestly, it was really cheap for the five pack. Um, it came out cheaper than getting like one roll, but could be because there's less in each one. I don't know, but I really liked all the apples on this one. I like the ABC 
A, B, C, D, do this one. Even this one's not too bad. It's numbers. Uh, the only one that's like really, enough, this one I actually like because it's books. I just don't think it fits like my classroom aesthetic if I was like a reading teacher maybe, but I can use that for other projects. It's more this one. I feel like this one is more, I don't know why because it's an alarm clock, but because I guess because there's a saxophone over here it may, and then there's little music notes. It reminds me of more of like a music teacher thing. Um, but we shall see. They do look like pretty big rolls. I have what, 20, 20, and 30 is 20, 40, 70. So hopefully at least the five rolls is enough and that's all that really matters. I'm gonna hole punch each one and then just like uh, hole punch the corner of this and the little things and like tie it together. Um, I'll show you guys a finished product when I get there. Right now I'm just writing my last name over and over again. <laughs> I didn't even finish my thought. Um, so I was saying we don't usually go out, but Coraline, I can't do two things at once because I just wrote Miss and it looks horrible, um, is out in theater. It was a re-release for its 15th anniversary. Um, and I, Joe has never seen it and I love Coraline and I would love to see it on the big screen because I have never seen it on the big screen. Um, they actually say it's so far, I read it in an article, the highest grossing film for a, a not a remake, for a re-release. It has made crazy amount of money for a movie that's been out for so long. And I know some people are like, oh, you can watch it on Disney Plus. Actually, that might not be Disney. I'm not sure what that is. Disney Plus, Netflix, whatever, for free. But it's like just a whole different experience watching on a big screen, you know? And Tuesdays, where I am, is only eight seventy five. So it would literally just be like... 16 bucks and some change for me and joe to go and then nearby is a burger place that me and joe love so we both had a late lunch today um like you guys i you guys saw i was on it was one o'clock i was eating normally during the school year my lunch is at like 11 so because of that i'm not like super hungry so it's kind of perfect i'm gonna work on all these so i can get it out of my mind know it's done then we're gonna head out we're gonna go for the burger place watch Coraline and then when I come back I'm gonna go straight to bed but it's good knowing that I'm getting these things out of the way my binders are all set up I hold all my get to know me activities so I feel ready to go I'm excited for a new school year I'm just tired and I know beginning of September is always rough um, actually like all of September it takes a while to readjust I wasn't sleeping till two o'clock in the morning and I did wait. I woke up at 10 o'clock. So it's not like I slept in crazy. I have been waking up early since Friday. Um, I did it on purpose. I was hoping with me waking up early the days leading up to um, going back to work that I would readjust, but it did not. I was still not sleepy. Friday had an eye appointment. Um, you guys would have seen it in last week's vlog. I don't even know if I actually filmed it, but I must have talked about it. So I had to wake up early for that. The appointment was at 920. And then I said, then I had to wake up early on Saturday because I was going to Boston for the Friends experience. If you guys did not watch last week's vlog, watch it. It is a good one. So I was like, okay, well, I have to wake up early for that. And then I was like, well, we might as well continue with the train and just wake up early Sunday, wake up early Monday. And then Sunday... I set an alarm. Now, I set my alarm for 8. I didn't really get out of bed till like, 9.30. But, you know, it's earlier than, like, if I let myself just sleep. You know what I mean? So, and then yesterday, which was Monday, same thing. I set my alarm for 8.30, but I didn't really get out of bed till like, 9.30, which is fine because I don't really have anywhere to be. That's why the summer I let myself sleep in. But because it was those few days leading up, I didn't want to wake up a little bit earlier. So, I thought that would help, but honestly it did not but it's okay like I said it wasn't a bad day no kids today and then even with the kids tomorrow won't be a little more stressful you know the kids have to are kind of probably be crabby because they're gonna have to wake up early and readjust I was just thinking that if, it, if I have to do it they're doing it too and then for the, some of them it's really bad because they didn't work July like I did well not work but they didn't go to school in July like I did so they haven't woke up early since like June 14th you know all right so these are all uh, I wrote my name on all of them. Now I'm going to cut them out and start attaching them. Off to see Caroline. Coraline, Caroline. Oh my God, Joe called it that earlier. Now it's in my head. Coraline. 
traditional puppets, and some of you were working on Coraline puppets for the first time, bringing her build into the modern age. I'm Simon Thompson. I'm delighted to be joined by Sid Tucker. Right. Alrighty, guys. I just got in from Coraline. You're gonna see a random clip, so I just wanna explain it. So, I didn't realize there was like a behind the scenes thing after the credits. I'm glad I stayed. Um, I even, my friend, one of the paras I work with at the school, went last week. And I even messaged her and I said, hey, did you stay till after the credits? She said, yeah, me and my friend always watch Marvel movies. So now we're like in the habit of always staying till after the credits. Because they always show like a sneak peek of the next movie or something. And I was like, yeah, I had no idea. They had literally like behind the scenes footage of like how they created the puppet of Coraline. Talking about how they did it 15 years ago and how they did it now with more technology. And it was really, really cool. Um, and it was just a coincidence that I stayed behind. I started scrolling on my phone. Sometimes I just like listening to the credit music or whatever. And then let everyone file out before I go. But anyway, I just got home. I should be getting ready for bed. But no, I got to finish these. So I got majority of the goldfish crackers. Though there's a few left on the table. I figured I would show it to you done. And I gotta do, then I got to do the Chips Ahoy. But it's using a lot less ribbon than I thought. I don't know. For, I was thinking like a gift. Like I was going to wrap the ribbon around it. And then I said, oh, wait, all you're doing is, like, attaching mm -hmm. the ribbon to this cute little, you know, tag. So it doesn't take a lot of ribbon. So I'm using the ABC one for this one. And I'm using the Apple one for the Chips Ahoy since it has a blue background. I like to match. So I literally have just been using the single hole punch. Hole punching a hole in the goldfish bag. So, I mean, the, the, it's not going to stay fresh. They got to eat these tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay um i was gonna do it like up here but then i i kept getting too close to the edge and it was screwing me up and then like i said it says officially back to school how cute is that so now i'm gonna finish up the rest Alrighty, guys it is the next day i'm at work i am so mad at myself i was supposed to pack my laptop charger and forgot it so i shut the laptop down it's lunch I'm gonna try, I pray it lasts two more periods. At worst comes to worst, you can use the board directly. Just things take way time longer to load using the smart board directly. It's easier to use the smart board, connect it to the laptop and do everything on the laptop. But anyway, I'm going to have my lunch. It is like a seafood pasta salad. My mother-in-law reused her Parmesan cheese container, but uh, she had like a dinner party on Sunday, Joe had a family down from out of state or from Canada. So this is, she offered me some leftovers. And since I'm trying not to do computer work, I'm gonna get some paperwork done. I usually have, I literally have a stack of papers I need to staple. I have the cutest headband on, I'll show you guys. Right there. Isn't that wicked cute? I got it from Target for the first day of school. All right, let's eat our lunch and staple. It's Thursday, so you guys know what you're about to see. It's karaoke. As you know, I can get copyright strikes, so I can only show you guys 10 seconds of the clip. But I just wanted to introduce my friend PJ here. He's the one singing with Joe. He has been coming with us almost since the very beginning. And this was his first time singing, and he hasn't sung since. Because as you guys know, I'm a little behind, so this was about a month ago. Um, he... Joe convinced him to sing Peaches because I heard him singing it in his car and he got so into it. I wish he didn't have as much stage fright, but I get it because I'm the same way. You guys know I've only sung at karaoke two or three times, but I'm glad Joe was able to get him out of his shell. I met him at my job last year. He's one of the paraprofessionals and um, it's been so fun um, going to karaoke with him and a bunch of the paras from work every single Thursday. You guys know one of my goals this year was to do new things and make new friends and karaoke has definitely done that for me which has been absolutely incredible now get ready to hear pj sing Thank you. 
back on i am sorry i know i got a little bit of footage of karaoke yesterday but that was basically it i don't think i ever popped on during the day at all it's always really rough the first week back i literally like woke up so late the two days i had work not so much on the tuesday i didn't have kids that day it was trainings i woke up at a decent time well i got to work around the same time but there was like plenty of parking because there was no students it was just staff did that make that big of a difference now i was probably there a little bit earlier too i don't even remember at this point all my time is blending together but i know wednesday and thursday i got to work like just in time which is not good because i literally had to park all the way in the back of the parking lot both days oh my god in fact yesterday thursday joe picked me up because uh joe got done early i stayed till about 4 30 because i was like you know still like organizing my stuff and he called me and he's like hey i'm gonna pick up like burrito bowls to us and go home eat get ready for karaoke all those things and i even asked i said would you be willing to pick me up because my car is so far it'd be so much easier if you got me right at the front door and drove me down so he's like yeah i'll be there in a half hour finish up what you're doing so that's what we ended up doing and then we got home i ate the burrito bowl and my head was pounding i've had a really bad headache the last two days too which doesn't help I don't know if it's my body's getting used to the noise again because my classes get like so loud with all the kids um so i ate the burrito bowl and i went to bed i was like i'm gonna let myself sleep for like an hour and then get ready for karaoke and then of course we got late to karaoke but we got there at first there wasn't like tables um we i gotta call somebody see if we can start reserving tables since we're there every week i think they would do that for us um but anyway it is friday i cleaned the living room an entryway the entryway doesn't look the greatest because i am bringing a lot of stuff to the school on tuesday so my entryway still has things but it's like you know off to the side and then once i can get those items in my car it'll be better uh but the living room looks a million times better i do have some things on like a a couch that's like things i need to film so i need to get those things filmed so my couch can be cleared it's like a little spare like lounge seat that i have in the corner over there but other than those few boxes it looks a million times better um i cleaned until about one then i read for about half hour my plan was to just read till joe got home from work but my eyes were closing and i needed a nap so i let myself nap so once i finished the chapter i put the book down and took a nap woke up showered um joe called me he is like about to clock out um so i'm gonna read it's right here on the side of me the book a little bit more until he gets home we're gonna do dinner out today i think today's like our one day to be just us because tomorrow so i haven't got a lot of footage this week but hopefully tomorrow I remember to get on camera and there'll be some exciting stuff for the vlog because the girl that's getting married that i'm in her wedding next month tomorrow is her bachelor party so we have a very like long 12 hour day planned in Newport. I'm tired just thinking about it. I definitely gotta wear some kind of sneaker um, because it's gonna be a lot of walking. But we're literally getting to her house for 11 o'clock. Uh, we're gonna decorate her apartment, The her boyfriend, her fiance. I don't know why that's quote marks. Say it is, or it is her fiance. I was gonna say husband, that's why, but not technically yet. Is gonna take her out. And we're doing like um, the single life RIP theme everything's like black she loves black she loves halloween um that we not we i should say the maid of honor got like decorations and a cake and charcuterie board and she said she would cover that but we're gonna cover everything else for her for the rest of the day as a group so we're gonna do the charcuterie board and the cake at her house i'm sure we're gonna take lots of pictures i'll get some footage for you guys and then um so we'll be at her house for a little bit then we're gonna leave there head to newport because we had a two and a half hour cruise plans i believe it's at three um so we're bringing our bathing suits but I, we're gonna pack them because it hasn't been super cold here i mean super hot here so we might not end up wearing them but i want to have them as an option just in case because we can't actually jump off the cruise and swim but 
you guys know there's been a lot of shock sightings over here so i might just wear the bathing suit and like lay out we'll see um and they even said that there's like showers and get ready stations in the boat so we can get out of the bathing suit shower if we wanted to like if we dipped in the pool the water the pool and then get dressed and then we're gonna go out so we have um like a very i guess a dinner like a lunch dinner um reservations actually no that's dinner because it's at five yeah i don't know what i was thinking don't mind ignore me i'm used to like dinner at like seven with joe like right now literally it's like 5 30 i'm gonna get ready and do dinner with him soon uh but yeah we're doing dinner at a really pretty place in newport um for i think we have it reserved for 6 30 because it is a two and a half hour cruise event uh in newport then from there we're going to an improv show and that's about an hour and then from there we're going to a place called dueling pianos not i'm really sure what it is you gotta look it up um but yes it's gonna be a very long day so like for that's at 10 30 the dueling pianos and i don't know how long that's gonna be for but i plan on being out till probably midnight um and then i'm hitting i'm getting out of the house for 11 so very very long day hi my love I um, mean, you guys will get to see all of it. Do you hear that? Smokey's pissing at my little one. I love her. But she can be so mean to him. Then again, he can be mean to her. So it's a love-hate relationship. But um, anyway, I'm going to read before Joe gets here and then get ready for dinner. I'll let you guys, I'll show you what we eat tonight, obviously, and all those things. And hang on for a fun day tomorrow i'm off today in case you guys couldn't figure that out um i don't know why but they gave us the friday obviously i know monday's the labor day but they gave us the friday off too so we got like an extra long weekend before we get back into school life uh i have like a stack of things i need to do it's probably gonna be on sunday yeah because i'm not playing sunday i go to my mom's every other sunday and this is the sunday we don't go um so because i have a bunch of stuff i have some stuff i need to laminate some stuff i need to like i need to create books staple all those things you know teach your life back into the full swing of it uh but i did get a lot of stuff ready in the summer this is more like first day of school activities um and then i can go right into the unit plan i created which is all like hygiene based for life skills um got to know some of the kids on those two days some kids i've taught some i haven't learned the names um we're gonna go and then we're gonna do the first day of school stuff i know it's, like, it's not the first day but it feels like i feel like those two days is just like get to know you stuff uh then we're gonna do like the first day of school classroom rules and then i have kitchen safety rules since i have a kitchen in my room and then we'll get back into the swing of things hopefully um i have plans next friday to watch beetlejuice really excited about that um and then it's the uh, wedding rehearsal for the wedding and then we go pick up our dresses because they're at the alt alteration place right now it is 29 days to the wedding guys it's uh it's coming on really fast our wedding's at the end of the month um so yeah it will be a exciting september it'll be a rough september i'm not gonna lie beginning of school is always a crazy time um but i love my job honestly i'm thankful for what i got i got a lot of support i'm happy i've just been so so tired <laughs> create your own pasta rigatoni alfredo and chicken with broccoli on the side so basically a chicken broccoli alfredo that's cheaper and i can get another plate <laughs> So me and Joe obviously ended up at Olive Garden. We originally had planned for a local restaurant near there that wasn't a chain, but the wait was like an hour. So we ended up going to Olive Garden, which is nice of Joe because that's not even his favorite restaurant. He's not a big pasta guy. And then right from there, I went straight home and went straight to bed because I knew I was going to have such a crazy day the next day. We got to my friend Diana's house for around 11 to help with the setup. And then we left for a very long day in Newport that you guys are about to witness. Enjoy. Oh my God! <laughs> I love it! I freaking love it! Oh, oh my God! I love it! I freaking love it! <laughs> Rest in peace to my single life. Oh my god! Brad 
Wait, Diana, do it again. <laughs> oh, for the love of God! Okay, I have so much Instagram already. Yeah. <laughs> You're taking photos on doing videos of this crazy. Thing. I love it. I love it. Oh, smart! I like that. Wait, do that face again. What? what the angry face, like you were. Yeah. This is so funny. I love it. Waiting for our boat so we can do our two and a half hour cruise. Like my lip gloss, my lipstick. I know. I have, I have a car I mean, he was kind of like not doing the right thing at that time, so he was, and he was drunk. Diana, wait for the camera. <laughs> Don't kill us, okay? I know, I'm like not moving on purpose. Like the least I move, the better. Oh, my God. You're creating crazy waves. Oh, God. Who's driving the bus? <laughs> Diana, you're fired. Horrible. <laughs> Diana, you're making me sick. Boom. Bree, you're not <laughs> looking. Oh, it's okay. a video. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I know. Can I have another six, please? Can I have another six, please? The one in faith. Oh, you know, I do love uh, and hope. Oh, 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 my God. I do trust Picture it. Oh, it was the party of my freshman year. Yes. 2002. All right? And I don't have old ladies in my parties so of Golden Girls. And then he like kind of ruined the surprise because he asked this old lady to hold his phone while he was 
holding like with a video recorder. And she was like, why is this on video? And I kind of like put two and two together. So, and then he got down on one, barely down on one day. <laughs> and I said, I knew it. <laughs> Yes, I'll, yeah. Okay. All right, all right. That's excellent. That's a beautiful story. Where are you getting married? Okay, excellent, excellent. So you're here with some amazing people, correct? My bridal party. Woo! The bridal party. Woo! Oh, never. Okay, bridal party. What else would you like us to know about Diana? guys i just wanted to come on and end the vlog you guys saw i had a very crazy day yesterday i uh went to newport for a bachelorette night um it was the wedding i am in next month actually technically this month it is september 1st when i'm filming this so it's a new month oh a new week i love when the first lands on a sunday so i am going to be starting a new vlog right after this because you guys know i vlog from sunday to saturday but when I left Newport yesterday, I went straight to bed. I was exhausted, so I didn't have time to pop on yesterday. It was a fun-filled day, but very hectic and very tiring. I am more of a relax, don't make reservations kind of girl. You guys know that. Me and Joe were supposed to go to um, Hampton Beach for my birthday, and we were literally going to book it, like, day before. Like, that's just how I am. I'm a very spontaneous person. I am not a planned person whatsoever. Um, the maid of honor for the wedding I'm in is the opposite. She's very planned. So she had reservations back to back to back all day in Newport. So we literally had to just run from one thing to the next to the next. Me, personally, I would have enjoyed walking around Newport, going into the shops, 
we were on Thames Street, which is like a really popular touristy street. It even has like the old cobblestone roads and you just walk around and you can go in one shop and out the next and there's like little fun shops and bakeries and all this fun stuff. But we literally had one thing to the next to the next. So we got there and we went straight to the boats. Um, I got a little bit of footage of that. I'm going to be honest, I didn't get as much because the boat was a stressful situation for me. So the thing that scared me the most of this trip was one, it was a lot of walking, which I do walk a lot. Like the high school I work at is massive, but I walk at my pace and what I can do. I, this time I had to follow four other women. So I was like, you know, trying to keep up with them. And then two, I was worried about the boat. Honestly, my size, you just never know what you're going to deal with. So... I will say the boat was a little bit of a letdown for me. I hope they don't get offended if they watch this vlog. Um, but I'm going to be true and honest with you guys. It was not cheap to rent that boat. And I thought it was going to be more like a yacht. I thought it was actually going to have like seats. And we were going to be able to move around the boat. And like do what we needed to do. To take photos and just enjoy our time together. It was a sailboat. So you got on a little boat, like a little motorboat, and the motorboat would take you to the sailboat. So I got to the motorboat, no problem. It was the switching from the motorboat to the sailboat. That was really difficult for me because it was a very high step. Um, and I am overweight. It's very hard for me to like lift my body because there's a lot of my body. Um, so the captain from the big ship had to help me and i almost fell into the water guys it was so scary the passenger on a, the little boat who i didn't know would hold the wall he was a stranger so the motor boats take you to all the big boats so it was me and my four friends in the motor boat plus a couple so there was a couple that went on the motor boat with us because they were going to another boat and that man like was so kind i'm so grateful he literally went right up to me he grabbed me and pushed me back into the motor boat so i did not fall and i was so apologetic because i feel i feel that sometimes i feel like i burden people with my size and he was like honey you're okay everything's fine don't worry about it we're gonna try this again so they, they moved the motorboat cl as close as they could. And he stood behind me like this, basically. So that if I fell, he was there to support me. I am so grateful for that man. I don't even know his name. And the captain on the big boat was very kind, too. And I kept apologizing. I kept saying it was okay. But eventually, I did get onto the big boat. Not without some damages, though. So my leg slammed into the big boat. I have two massive bruises. I will share with you at the end of this. Then once we got on it, there was nowhere to sit. There was no seats. All they had was like these two cushions on the top of the sailboat. So we sat on the cushions and they brought us food. They brought us a plate with tortilla chips with hummus and salsa. They brought us a charcuterie board. They brought us oysters, shrimp cocktail, drinks. Everything was like open bar, open food. That was included in the price, which was not cheap again, guys. It was 263 a person for us to go on this boat. So it was a lot of money. Um, they brought the drinks coming though. They brought the food coming. And I stayed in my little spot because I was scared to move. It, the center of the boat has all the equipment that the sailboat needs. So all you have is this little like, I don't know, maybe three foot on each side that you can walk around with just like little ledges. I was like, oh my God, I am not moving from the spot. So I didn't until we left. Um, and then we went to the, so once the boat like, parked like anchored not parked but you know what i mean there's like the bow of the ship so if you it was the best way to think about to explain it that's how she explained it is like in the movie titanic when they're all the way at the end of the bow and they have their arms out and they're like i'm king of the world or queen of the world whatever so they wanted to take pictures on the bow of the ship which made me very anxious so i was like the last one they all went onto the bow i went to where the boat and bow connect and my pants got stuck on some hooks because, like I said, it's a sailboat. It's not a yacht. So all the equipment is right there. All the ropes and the anchors and all those things. It took two of the girls to get my pants to unlatch. And then my pants ended up being soaked because the ropes were wet. So it was not the greatest experience. We were on the boat for two and a half hours. We got off the boat. We had to rush to our reservations for the restaurant. She called ahead, said that we were a little delayed. Got to the restaurant, ate, I loved my meal. I think some of the other girls might have not because some of their plates were still full. Um, it was definitely more, they only had, they had a lot of like not meat options. It was a lot of like, they had like chickpea burger. It was like, it was called something garden. It was very, they had a tofu, they had a lot of seafood, shrimp. It was definitely that kind of restaurant, but they had a smash burger. And I said, I'm just gonna go with the smash burger. 
it's the simplest thing on the menu. I know I'll like it and I'm glad I did that because I loved my meal personally. And then we left the restaurant and we had to rush to the improv show. And that is the part where I was like really out of breath, really trying to catch up with them because the improv show ended at eight. We left the restaurant at 730. I'm like, oh, half hour, we can walk there leisurely. We'll be fine. But she said, if you wanted to sit with your group, if you had five or more, which we had five, to try to be there for 7.45. So we had to book it. And I was really out of breath. Uh, my friend Diana kept stopping and like staying with me. And I really appreciated that. Um, like I said, I, and I walk around all day. I don't want you guys to think that I'm like this big blob that can't move. My high school is huge. I walk around the high school all day long. But again, at my pace. I am not someone who likes to run late. If I know I have a meeting in X room, you know, what room 234, whatever, at 3 o'clock, I start to leave my room at... 2 30 and that that's me being honest because then i also stop talk to people i'll take the elevator i want to be at a leisurely place i do not like to rush because then when i get there i'm like out of breath sweaty i look disgusting not my style but finally when we got to the improv show i was able to take a deep breath relax we were there 15 minutes early they sat us at 7 45 together no problem it was byob which is bring your own beverage or booze whatever so our my two friends actually left they went to like a cumberland fonds nearby and got us all waters and like Gatorades because we're all dying of thirst. And we watched the improv show. I will say that seats were really tight. My hips were killing me. And that was another thing I was worried about because you got, you are plus size, you know, chairs with arms is like the bane of my existence. But I made it through the hour and 15 minute show. I laughed a lot. It was incredible. I do have some clips of that you guys saw. And then from there, we were supposed to go to something called Dueling Pianos. And it was like a music show. Um, we walked all the way there, which was quite a walk. We, we didn't rush, though. We had time. But it was, you know, a good, like, 15, 20 minutes away. And then we get there, and they were like, oh, the 1030 showing is actually a private showing. Um, somebody They booked the whole bar, and it's like a private event. So they said you can either enter the downstairs bar, and that's the only entertainment you'll get, but it's not pianos. And they had music and stuff. And the maid of honor was like, oh, um, how much? Because we saw people pulling out cash. And they were like, oh, yeah, that's a cover charge. I already forgot what it was, but it was cash only. So Justine's like, well, I have some cash. I can cover everybody if you want to go. And my friend Diana looked beat. I, I knew I was tired. I didn't want to ruin anyone's good time, though. But even she looked tired. Kristen, who looked exhausted, too. And the, she looked at all of us, and she's like, let's just go home. I'm tired. So we left around 10, which was earlier than we thought. But it felt so good i got into my house around 11 o'clock and i literally passed out in bed i am sore today i have bruises today i will show you guys some pictures but i am going to newport again today um there is a they call it the traveling elephants they are literally made out of like wood they are gorgeous they travel the world and they are in newport and this is the last weekend they're going to be there so i don't want to miss that out miss out on that so i'm going with my friend leah my friend Leah is very accommodating to me. She's very understandable of my size. She actually is a photographer. She loves to stop and take pictures. So with her, it's perfect. I can stop, take a breathing break, do what I need to do to get back into my, okay, I can walk some more again. So um, it's perfect. So even though I'm going to be tired, I'm going to push myself to go because I do need to move my body more, but at least at my pace um, and not like chasing after people, which is it's fine. I get it. There was reservations. We had to be there. That's just not my style. But again, not my wedding, not my plans. So of course, I'm going to be accommodating and do what other people need to do. And I did the best I could yesterday. Uh, I was proud of myself because I was really nervous about it. But I went. The boat was a little embarrassing, but everyone was really kind. So it was okay. Um, I definitely wouldn't do it again, though. i going to be honest with y'all because even like getting on was traumatizing. But then even once I was on, I don't think it was worth the price personally. The food and beverages were great. I do think, um, you know, it wasn't like it was two, 263 and we were just sitting there. They did serve us, you know, oysters and shrimp and charcuterie boards and watermelon. And I got two shots and two drinks while I was there. Um, but yeah, it just was not the most comfortable situation for the money. I thought we were getting not the food was fine. I thought we were just getting a bigger space. I just imagined a different kind of boat. Um, if you're into sailboats though, and you're like a tiny person and you can move around things like that, it is perfect for you. But even like the other girls, they were, you know, my friend Diana is not big. She's not plus size. Kristen is not plus size. Um, and they, even they were struggling. Um, even they have some bruises and stuff. So this isn't just a big girl thing. This is just, uh, 
I guess it's a sailboat thing. <laughs> uh, and I will say the first mate, like the one that got us the drinks and the food, very tiny, very flexible. She was moving around everywhere. And I think you got to be tiny to be on those sailboats, to be honest with you all. Uh, but it was an experience. I made it through. Um, and it is over. Now the next thing is Saturday coming. I pick up my dress from the alteration shop. And then it's just the wedding rehearsal and then the wedding itself. And I will get clips for you guys, of course. Um, hang on for next week if you want to see the traveling elephants. It is absolutely incredible. I hope I can get it to look on good as camera as it is in person. Um, it looks amazing from what I've seen in photos. I heard you can even buy one of the elephants, but they are super duper expensive. And that's definitely a rich person thing because they th those elephants are massive. They would probably take up like one of my rooms. Um, but yeah, they, they, they move, they move them every night. So it literally looks like they're traveling the world. It is absolutely incredible. So definitely check out next week's vlog. If you are interested, um, I will say from here on out, I'm going to be filming on my old phone again. I cleared out all my memory. So all my vlogs should be back to normal very soon. Um, so if you notice a difference in like the camera quality, that is why that camera quality is a little less than this one. Not much. This is like the iPhone 12 I'm on right now, a 13, and that one's like the one. But I think this is the 13, that one's the 12. Um, I, I hope that's okay with you guys, but it's the only solution I can think of to get these vlogs up because I've been having issues with my laptop, so I'm just going to go back to editing on my phone. My old phone, though, I cannot do everything on this phone. It is too much. So I just wanted to give you a heads up that if you see the next vlog and it looks a little different, that is why. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I know it was a little all over the place. My first week back at work, it was a struggle. Uh, I'm glad I have a th oh, I had a four day weekend we were off friday saturday sunday and then tomorrow monday i am so glad because i needed the rest it's a four day work week and then hopefully i can get my ass back into rotation because then it'll be monday through friday uh, once again from the foreseeable future until i at least have two weeks off in december and then back to work again january i'll have a week off in february a very long march a week off in april <laughs> yeah i'm already counting down the days to summer you guys didn't know that that's what us teachers do no i love my job honestly um i'm just getting sad it's getting so dark early again it's getting cold again um you know originally you could actually jump off the boat and go swimming um we didn't even do that because it would have been too cold we were perfect like i wasn't cold whatsoever but if i had gotten wet i would have been cold um you know the temperature definitely dropped here it is gonna fall around the corner for sure but me it's basically fall once i'm back at work already again in my opinion but anyway let me know if you enjoyed the vlog if you did give it a thumbs up it really helps the youtube algorithm um you guys are seeing on this this on the weekend my vlogs usually go up on friday but i am playing some catch up so i might be posting like friday saturday sundays we shall see um what was i gonna say and then book club on monday unboxings and hauls on tuesdays and thursdays i gotta show you guys all the stuff i got for my birthday you probably seeing that before you see this and then wednesday is what's up wednesday so it allows me be creative every single week and then at some point outfits of the week are starting up again because i go back i'm going back to work well i did go back to work but it was only two days so i didn't bother filming uh, but once I go back Tuesday, I'm going to start doing the outfits of the week again. And you guys will be seeing that on the weekend. So I do post at least six days a week. If not seven, if any of that interests you, definitely consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you're notified next time I upload. If you like the video, like me, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm. I might have said that. I don't know. Um, and comment. Let me know what you think of. What are you? Are you more of like a relax? Like me personally, if I was getting married, I would love to do like a little paint night. Book a hotel. Bring a bunch of face masks. Bring some drinks order some DoorDash, and i would love to just have like a relaxing like spa night with my friends um that's more my style and i know plenty of women who are thin and like that kind of stuff so it has nothing to do with my weight or even like i would have been fine walking around newport going in and out of the shops um having like one reservation for dinner you know i just not the back to even like disney world and i feel like disney world that's why i'm not a good disney world person you need like okay i have this ride booked at blink i have this book but that's just not my style because I don't want to rush around. I want to be leisure. I want to look around. I want to be able to stop and look at something if it catches my interest. Um, let me know. Are you? And there's no judgment here. Like I, I sometimes I wish I was more. I'd get a lot more done. But are you guys more of the planned this a reservation back to back, make most of your time kind of person? Or are you more like the leisurely, relax, let me walk around, see what there is to look at kind of person? Down in the comments and be safe, guys. Mm -hmm.